Oh, hello, sorry. Oh, hello, how are we? Nice, sorry, take this off. Nice to see you. Just moving a little bit late. Sorry, got here, important. How are you? Good to see you. My name is Phil. This is the Hub Lab in my space, wherever you are doing your science is your space. The Earth, the world is the biggest research lab out there. Go have some fun. I am glad to be here today because we're going to do a little bit of a recap, but then show you a little bit of a twist. And this is kind of the theme of the next few experiments, is I want you to take a look at what we do in the lab here in science and see where you could apply it or invent something in the future. Today, we are going to talk about one of my favorite things to say, Bernoulli. Yeah, I know, Bernoulli. It is named after Daniel Bernoulli, who had a fantastic family of scientists. The whole family was into trying things, having a go at stuff. But the principle that we're going to talk about is Bernoulli's principle, and it is about how fast-moving air creates an area of low pressure. Now, it has to do with helping planes fly, along with the Magnus effect and that push of air, but it also has to do with ping-pong balls floating in air. You've probably seen this experiment where you have a hair dryer. We did it before. You can get a hair ball, ping pong ball to float. You can put two in it, two floats. It's amazing at parties. People think you're incredibly cool. Uh, but you might not have seen it this way. I'm just going to show you another way that'll help you understand it. So, Bernoulli's principle states that uh, an area of fast moving fluid creates an area of low pressure. Now, fluid is either a liquid or a gas. So we've seen with the hairdryer how we can keep things up and look amazing at parties and be really interesting. But sometimes people don't often show you this uh, with, with water. And the same thing can happen. So if you've got uh, a funnel or something like this, or even just a, a flow of water, you can do the same kind of experiment. But I'm going to do that kind of experiment in a slightly different way. I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to use water. So if I have a funnel, which is for getting lots of stuff into a small space, and I turn it upside down, and I put a ping pong ball here, and I let it go, it falls out. Won't stay. However, this what I've done here is I've connected, uh, and it's already flowing a little bit, a tube to a tap, and I have the funnel on the other end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the water, and it is now coming out of the funnel. Now, what I want you to do is, what do you think is going to happen if I put this ping pong ball in the funnel? Water flowing this way, ping pong ball. It gets stuck inside. Same idea. So we put the ping pong ball in, water's moving a fluid, creating that pressure difference, which means that the ball gets pushed up from the higher pressure outside. Bernoulli's principle in action. Nice. Snazzy. So, you see, Bernoulli's principle works for fluids, liquids and gases. And it's a very useful principle, like we've discussed on the show before, but also in how we might innovate and create new products. And I wanted to show you uh, a little trick here now uh, involving using this plastic bag. Uh, it's a long plastic bag, and there's a snazzy way to uh, get it to unfurl by doing... <laughs> holding on to it. Um, I let go of that. I was supposed to hold on to the other end. One second. Because uh, I have a spare, luckily. You're welcome. Okay, so if I hold on to this time and now do it... See, that was much more snazzy. So it's a really long plastic bag that you would have seen before. You can reuse these. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it at one end. So by tying a knot, the normal kind of any knot into it there, I tied it at one end. And then I have a long bag here. Now, always when working with plastic bags, you want to be safe and make sure uh, that nothing happens. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and inflate this really long bag by blowing into it. And as you can see, it's a pretty long back. So how much do you think I'm going to be able to blow it up in 30 seconds? Oh no, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, you ready? Make a guess how long. Okay, so 10 seconds. So you count the 10 seconds. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> At 10? Okay. So 10 seconds, I have blown up. Oh, hold on. there we go. All the way down. That much. That's how much I've blown up in 10 seconds. So it would take me ages to be able to blow up that whole thing on my own. But science is all about making things cheaper, faster, safer, easier. So what I'm gonna try and do now 
is I'm going to try and inflate it using Bernoulli's principle, the thing we started uh, earlier on. So, if I could get... Skelly, can you hold this for me, please? Just you just <laughs> pick it up. Thank you. OK, good, you got it? We're going to hold it up like this, and we're going to hold it open like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to blow down the end of it. And because of Bernoulli's principle, that area of fast-moving air creates an area of low pressure in a circle, it's going to suck all the air down. So if I go now, I go one breath, three, two, one, and I hold on to it. Now, see how much I've inflated. Low pressure, pushed, gets sucked up to all the air of it down because there's higher pressure around. So it's really useful to inflate things really, really quick. Sorry, good catch though. Really, really useful. So. Where could we use this? Now, I don't know if you've ever been to a picnic or if you've ever been to somewhere at a music festival or anything else, you might see this. Now, this is a couch bag. Uh, you might have seen it at either, like, when people go for picnics. We have deliberately not practiced this because I'm not very good at it. Could we use Bernoulli's principle to be able to inflate this inflatable couch, which is quite big, more quickly? Let's see if we can get fast moving air so we're going to move this quickly in this direction against air and hopefully it should inflate this is totally going to work okay we're everything here is insured okay ready three two one no let's go again okay try again now i did it that time did i trap how much air did i get i got a good amount of air that's pretty good so it's the same thing, if you ever see someone try to inflate, like a couch or anything else, moving it in the opposite direction against the air using Bernoulli's principle is the way. This is a perfect time for you to send us in your ideas to orta.ie forward slash learn. How would you create an invention that uses Bernoulli's principle? Or how could you make this easier to inflate? Or just create something and I'm going to try and I'm going to have to move quicker. Maybe if I ran. Okay, I'm going to try this, practice this. But yeah, send it in to us and see. I'd love to see your ideas. I'm going to give this a... That didn't work. See you next time. <laughs>